everyone, this is Cindy from Stamped with Aloha. Welcome back to part two of my poinsettia petal series. In this video today, I'm gonna to teach you how to make a beautiful shadow box card. So let's get started on project number two. This is the card we're gonna be making today. So let me show you how we're gonna score it. You are going to need a piece of very vanilla thick cardstock, and this is going to be cut at six and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. I'm laying it on my Simply Score tool and I'm going to score this at the half inch mark and then again at the one inch mark. Then I'm gonna flip the cardstock around and I'm gonna score it in the exact same places. Half inch and one inch. Okay. You are gonna need two pieces exactly the same. So I'm gonna take a second piece, and as you can see, I've already done the score marks on this one. Okay, so our scoring is done. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of these two scored pieces, and I'm using a three inch circle die from the layering circle dies, and I'm going to place this just below, or just above the center point of this card. I'm going to run it through my cut and emboss machine, and when it is done, it's going to look like this. So now we have a hole in the front of our card. Okay, so now we are ready to assemble our card. For the next step, I'm going to be using a piece of the Poinsettia Place Designer Series paper. So I'm going to use my adhesive and put adhesive on the back of this square. This is a four by four inch square. And then I'm going to mount this on the inside piece here. And I just wanna mount it towards the top part of the card. Mostly, I wanna make sure that when you when we close the card, you're gonna be able to see it through the window, so that looks good. All right, the next thing that we're going to add is some die cut pieces. So these are the coordinating dies that go with the stamp set. Let me show you the stamp set. For this card, I'm going to be using the Merry Christmas stamp here, and then out of the dies, I'll be using all four of the flower pieces. Again, you can see that I've taped them together to make um, running them through the machine much quicker and more efficient to do the cutting and the embossing at the same time. I'll be using this little centerpiece and then I'll be using one of the leaves with the soft seafoam cardstock. And then with this, I'm gonna do the berries out of our new metallic brush metallic cardstock in the gold color. So I'm gonna start with the brush metallic pieces. So these are these two little berry clusters. And the first thing that I wanna do is kind of position them where they're gonna go inside of this window. So I'm going to kind of just tuck it underneath the window like this. So I, I want it to be like this on this side. And then I want it to be on the opposite direction on the opposite side. So let me tuck it in like that, okay? And then I'm going to tack both of those down with dimensionals. All right, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a leaf. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this out of the way now that we know basically where those are gonna go and I'm going to get my leaf. So for the leaf, I'm going to add just a little bit of liquid glue and then I'm going to just tuck this in here so that it's coming out the side. And again, if I wanna check my placement, I can just lay this over the top and you can see that it's still fitting in the window really nicely. All right, now we're ready to layer our flower. So for this particular flower, because we're looking through this window, I, I want to, you to be able to see this gorgeous paper here. So rather than doing all four layers of a flower, like I told you, oops, that was an oops, you're only gonna use three, okay? So you'll be using these three and we're gonna omit the largest one, okay? So starting with this one here, I'm going to add this down. And then we're going to put this one on here like that. Then we're gonna add a little bit more glue. And we're gonna put that on there like that. Okay, so it's just a little a smaller um, flower. And then of course we need the center, which was made out of the copper brush metallic cardstock. And let me show you that you can put that on with glue or like I did in the other video or here, you can just press it on a glue dot and that works great too, okay? So now because we already have these dimensionals here on this base piece, I'm going to just lift them up and then I'm going to just twist this flower and figure out where I want it to be. But that looks really good right there. But if you're unsure of yourself, 
Then another trick that you can do is to just take and lay this over the top like that. And then take your flower and then just center it and lay it on there like so. Perfect. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to, um, we're going to fold the edges of the card. Okay. So I'm going to take uh, another tip too. make sure that you don't overlap this over the edge. Um, so you want to, so this is just borderline. I didn't check that very carefully, but you're going to want to watch your place of your berries that they don't go over the scored line. Cause right now what we're going to do is we're going to fold that scored line in and then we're going to fold it back. Okay. And then on the opposite side, do the same. So don't crush your berries. We're going to fold it in and then we're going to fold it back. So it looks like that. All right, and then on the front of the card, we're gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna fold it down and then fold it back. And do the same thing on this side. Fold it down and fold it back. Okay, and now I'm gonna use some liquid glue. I'll place liquid glue on both of these sides and we are gonna glue this together. This card is almost done. We're gonna add our sentiment now, so let me move it to the side a little bit. So now we're ready to do some stamping. I have a one by three and a quarter inch strip of very vanilla. I'm going to ink up my Merry Christmas stamp. I'm gonna stamp it across the center. Then I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to add some adhesive to the back. And then I will mount this to a one and a quarter by three and a half piece of sea foam. Okay, we're almost done with this card. Our next step is to add some dimensionals. So I'm gonna put two dimensionals on the back of our little sentiment here. And then I'm going to place this on the front of the card. And the last thing that we're gonna do is embellish with rhinestones, okay? So remember, if you watched the first video already, you remember the magic number? Here we go again. Okay, so our shadow box is done. You can fold this in like that and just place it in an envelope and then when the recipient gets it, they can open it up and they have a really beautiful card to put on display. This also would work great as a photo card with a picture inside here as well. Well, I hope that you enjoyed learning project number two. The final project of this series is a tin, a gift tin, so be sure to come back and check out project number three. Thanks so much for watching, aloha.